commitment to safety is critical for a USBA certified polo instructor. The safety of your facility helps ensure the well-being of your students and horses. Elements of a safe facility include proper signage and paperwork, clearly conveyed expectations, and adequate insurance, in addition to well-maintained property and equipment. Post signs stating restrictions, barn rules, policies, and warnings are best kept in prominent high traffic locations throughout your facility. This includes posting at the trailer, as well as at all lesson and playing entrances. Before posting, refer to local state and federal regulations to ensure that all signs comply with applicable laws. Make certain every person on your staff knows the barn rules and is familiar with your safety procedures. Keep emergency contacts and emergency equipment up to date and readily accessible. Require new students to acknowledge awareness and acceptance of your rules, restrictions, and expectations before they begin lessons. Relevant paperwork includes photo and medical releases, liability waivers, permission to treat, and incident report sheets, client acceptance policies, student progress notes, background checks, and staff records. Keep all paperwork filed in a manner that maintains client privacy. Every USBA certified polo instructor must carry professional liability insurance. There are no exceptions. Discounts for CPIs are offered through Equisure. Work with your insurance agent to make certain the insurance you hold provides adequate coverage. A safe facility features areas that are not only clean and well lit, but free of potential hazards as well. Provide plenty of accessible parking areas. Keep dogs confined or on leashes. And prohibit smoking in and around the barns. Facilities must be safe for horses as well as humans. This includes providing access to shelter and fresh water, making sure all gates and latches are in good working order, maintaining the fencing and footing, and having a procedure for manure removal in all areas where horses are kept or worked. Provide safe areas for tying and tacking horses, and establish clear, documented procedures for storing and dispensing feed, hay, and supplements. Safe arenas include good footing with no holes, walls at least four feet high with entrance and exit openings at least five feet wide, no protruding nails, screws, latches, or posts, and a designated spectator area. Properly store all tack and equipment including maintenance equipment, and periodically inspect it whether or not it is routinely used. Repair or replace equipment at the first sign of weakness. Keep records of tack maintenance and repair. Require all personnel working with students to perform a thorough tack safety check every time before a student mounts up. Use saddles with hangers for stirrup leathers, rather than those that have the stirrup leathers run through the tree. Double check that the saddle fits both horse and rider. And make sure stirrups are the proper width for the rider. Conduct a complete trailer inspection both inside and out before loading horses and hauling anywhere. Inside, check the integrity of the floorboards, mats, ramp, and tailgate. Make sure all hinges, bolts, and latches are secure, working as they should. Remove all potential hazards, including bees or wasps, and loose or projecting hardware. Outside, visually inspect the chains and hitch. 
check that all your lights work, and make sure the tires on both tow vehicle and trailer are aired up and held in place with tight lug nuts. Ensure your spare tires are roadworthy, and know where you keep your emergency equipment, including tire changing tools, hazard triangles, and fire extinguisher. Before hitting the road, raise the jack, lock it, and remove the wheel chocks. Double check that all doors and windows are secure. Keep the maintenance on both trailer and towing vehicle up to date. When hauling, drive with your headlights on. Stop at least once every four hours to let your horses rest. Avoid talking on a cell phone. And allow extra time and distance when speeding up and when stopping. Pay attention to the details that contribute to a safe facility, including easily readable signs, clearly stated rules and procedures, hazard-free property, and well-maintained equipment. Doing so will not only minimize your liability, it will also help make the polo experience enjoyable for all.